Hey, Uncle Jeff. Hey. You have to say, like, hey, I thought this would be cool for the vlog. That's why I'm recording it. Okay. It's really authentic that way, I think. So my uncle and I were having a conversation. This hey. is Uncle Jeff. And I thought it would be cool to include with the vlog. So what were we talking about? We were talking about all the things you do and how you give so much and how your dad physically works out all the time and you said he makes you look like a lazy bum yes yes but in comparison. you're spending all of your time giving that it's kind of pretty much you can't compare the two because you're choosing to spend your time with other people and helping them rather than just focusing on yourself which i think is amazing yeah, and my dad does do a lot of things for mm -hmm. other people, too. Uh, but it is true that when, he, when he's doing that, he gets drained really quick. It is, yeah. There is something about being there for people. Now, it's, it's, you know, it's a pleasure to be able to do it. Like, it's mm -hmm. one of those burdens that you know, you're, you're, you'd never want to live without. You know, once right. you get the, the, the thing about helping people and really seeing them change. Yeah. But yeah, one of the things that they say in AA is AA is not for the people that need it. It's the people that want it. That is really cool because people who need AA, there's tons of people who need AA, but they yeah. don't go. People who want AA go and they get better. That's right. Exactly. You could be amazing and the nicest you could possibly be to a person. And they could still hate you for no reason. Yeah. You can't make people feel a certain way about you. You, I mean, that you, you can't control other people like that. Yeah. The costliest thing that Jesus ever gave us or God gave us that is, uh, is choice. Hmm. I mean, all the horrors in the world, all the things. But uh, free will. <laughs> yeah, free will. I <laughs> the mean, the downfall of man. Yeah, but without that free will, mm -hmm. I mean, there would be no love. Right, package time. It's always fun to get packages. I don't know if it's just me, but like, I don't even care what they are. I always like buying things from Amazon, even if I can get it from like the grocery store or something, because it's just this feeling of opening a package. I know it's pathetic, but. Yay, to be things. To be or not to be. And it's dumb. Yay, they fit. What's what's on the, the calendar for today? Well, today is Road to Recovery Day, which is a Christian 12-step program. And that means that we have a bunch of things that we're doing. Here's actually the Christian 12-step book that I've got. I just bought a few new ones for us. And we also have an AA meeting today for the first time, which is Came to Believe. And I'm really excited about that because I've been wanting to start an AA meeting in our church since we started our church. And so it's been two plus years in the making. And I get my seatbelt on. Two plus years in the making, just waiting for this thing to finally happen. And today is the first day. And it's great because all of the people who are going are part of our church. And I just love that we've got a bunch of people in the program in our church because there's nobody better. I'm telling you, the people that have gone through these horrible addictions and overcome them are just salt of the earth people that are just the, the, the best people to do ministry with. I've never met better people than I have in the rooms of AA. Okay, so we're about to have our first AA Came to Believe meeting here, and I'm really excited, but it is a confidential meeting, so you are not invited. Well, you are invited if you come, but you can't just like watch from online and judge, you judgers, <laughs> Christians. All right, I'm on my way to my other office. I secretly have two offices. One is the church and the other is the Walking Tree Brewery. So, home number two as well. Anyway, I'm late for a meeting there. Sorry, Nathan. And uh, today's been a good day so far. Definitely got to do some awesome ministry with the AA group. And I wish you guys could have watched that if you 
there was some way you could have been a fly on the wall. There was just so much good stuff that people shared, secrets to life, people from different perspectives, and it was just wonderful. Uh, so I'm really excited about that new meeting. Uh, Wednesday at noon for anyone who's oh, well, welcome. It's an open meeting, so anyone can attend. Um, and anyone who wishes to no longer uh, be controlled by alcohol can be a member. That's the only requirement for membership. Anyway, and then I had an awesome meeting with Shelly. And Shelly is this woman that I met at a bar because she was a mutual friend of another woman that I met at a bar. And her and her husband were there, and we just got it off right away. Uh, she immediately started onto my favorite subjects in the world. Uh, basically, whatever polite society says, it is the opposite. So we went right into sex, religion, and politics, and it was wonderful. And so immediately we became friends, and we just had an awesome meeting talking about church stuff, strengths, challenges, weaknesses. Time to go into the Walking Tree Brewery. So, this is awesome, awesome people own this place and it's just been a great place to do ministry. We do uh, Bible and Brew on Thursday nights, as well as any chance we can have a meeting here instead of some other place. We were all eating lunch because we had a long meeting and he set the camera on the table and it didn't say anything and everyone's just like eating and <laughs> that's a lawsuit brother. Yeah, you're going to jail man. <laughs> yeah, it's in your prison public, ministry. it's recent, it's a, you know, expected, there's a camera there, it's usually obvious. My, I, did, you, I, did you get the joke of why I did what a, the clip that I did? Of the eating lunch? Yeah. I don't know if I did or not. It was the awkward... It was, it was the most really awkward, awkward moment. <laughs> and I thought about making it as long as it really was, but I was like, no, it might get boring. But like literally there was like so many awkwardness, uh, awkward pauses where like no one was talking. So the clip is just literally of us all sitting there eating, True not food. saying a word. <laughs> I mean, there's a movie, uh, I, haven't read the, I haven't watched the movie, I did read the book. It wasn't good, but it's called The Circle. It's a bad movie. Oh um, yeah, we just saw the movie. Did you see it? Was good? The scary. Yeah, the movie, the movie was not good. Well, it was good up until the last five minutes. Wait a minute. Yeah. Is that like a Indian. horror movie? Yeah. I don't think. Is it a horror movie? Technology horror movie. Okay, technology horror. Movie. Yeah. Isn't it the one with the girl in the well? Mm -hmm. Wait, girl in the well? No, 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 no. That's the ring. That's the ring. No, no, no. Circle. Which is a circle. Which is a circle, but that's not the same thing. No. Um, the circle is a is a Internet utopia gone bad. Dystopia. Internet. Yeah. Who's in that? Uh, Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Um, it was oh, Bill yeah, Pullman's yes. last movie. Oh, yeah. yeah, you see him in there. Um, and another top. It had some really good stars, and the writing was good up until the last five minutes. And then the book sucked. I read the book. I love dystopias, and I thought this was going to be great. I love internet stuff. It's horrible, but. In it, there's a, it's the same in the movie, I'm sure, but there's a girl who basically everything she does is videotaped and immediately online for anyone to see. Yeah. And it's an interesting concept about like, what would that, and they, like the book could have been so good. That's my, my frustration. It's like, if the book was well written, it could have been so good, because it's such a good concept. How would human nature change if everyone was videotaped? And people could watch it anytime they're around, tune in to someone else's channel. Would that be good for us? Would that be bad for us? By the way, it, the same debate is in basically the reverse is in Plato's Republic. Yeah. Which is, is it with the know, invisible ring. The invisible, yeah. Right. Have you seen Black Mirror? I saw series? a couple of few of them. There's a series on there that has that, that people have a chip implanted, that everything's recorded in their life, and so if they need to remember something, they could just file back to the video. Yes, I saw that one about the fair. Yeah, and yeah. the lady has the affair, and he like puts pieces together off of the video, and yeah. it kind of asks the same question. It's like, is this good for us, or not good for us? Yeah, it's forgetting actually a blessing in disguise. Yeah. It's kind of the un- Yes. Uh, 
written moral of that. Every once in a while I do get asked, how can you minister to AA and Road to Recovery, a Christian 12-step ministry, and you also do Bible and brew, and you also unapologetically drink alcohol? To which I respond, uh, really, the same way Jesus did, because he did both of those things, I'm absolutely convinced. Uh, you focus on setting the captives free. Now, freedom from addiction and freedom to be able to drink in moderation, these are things that are maybe different for different people, but common in the same principles. There's no hypocrisy in them. I have issues in which I struggle with. I have temptations and I have to guard myself in those areas. I have to work at it. I have to create an environment, a situation where I can be successful. But I don't have to make sure everyone else lives in that exactly same environment. The Pharisees, by the way, did this. They, they started to draw a box around the Word of God. That you, you say you can't do this thing, but we say you can't even do that thing. And it led to what Jesus was talking about often of these weights that nobody could carry. These things that were too brutal, too bad, and, and not, not healthy. So, the point is, is that you can minister to both groups very authentically and very passionately if you make sure that you're doing it with credibility, honesty, and not throwing babies out with bath waters, or beers for that matter. I don't know why you'd bathe babies in beer though. That's gross. Press my lips against yours.